Hey guys, so it's been a while since I did a video. I feel like it's been a while since I've been on the camera. And I feel like I've been supposed to be doing this update for a long, long time. And I've been putting it off. So here, welcome to my video on pregnancy. When you guys last saw, um, I'm not sure because I haven't looked at that footage, but I know I told you guys, what's up? So what you didn't know, that took place on Friday. And uh, on Wednesday, Sunday, so two days after that, I got an email from my doctor and she sent me the lab results via email and the blood work wasn't adding up it showed me something else. And I Googled the numbers and it showed me the same thing that I was finding out. And turns out I wasn't one week pregnant. I was five weeks. Five weeks is a big difference. I was just like blown out the door. I was like, what? I was like, how? I was like, oh my gosh. I was a lot of things. So, um, and then after that, I, that was a Sunday, and then I went to do an ultrasound on Tuesday. Well, when I went to do the ultrasound, it turns out the ultrasound measured my little fetus to be six weeks, one day. So yes, this little fellow was growing very quickly. He's growing quickly, he's been growing and developing for weeks and it's kind of clueless. But um, after I found out, then the real pregnancy symptoms just like hit it. I was, I was nauseous. It's like when I think or before when I saw pregnant individuals or pregnant women or whatever, I just, all I see is a nice face. <laughs> a big belly and oh that's so cute so I was just oblivious I have heard about morning sickness I have heard about morning sickness and nausea but I you never know the extent until you actually go through it so I was so nauseated and I'm still nauseated to this point. So for like the first two weeks of knowing, I couldn't eat. I just had absolutely no appetite. Um, I couldn't eat anything. I was still like drained and tired. Um, I got the prenatal pills and they did help some. <laughs> but um, overall, it's just been a knowledgeable experience. I'm very happy still. However, it's like, I didn't know this, I didn't know that. Wow, this is new to me. Wow, I didn't expect this. So, um, yeah. So, currently sitting here today. I'm not sure. I keep in track of the weeks, but not the days. So, I am 10 weeks. So, I'm over two months. I'm not showing yet, but it will soon happen. Um... We're very excited. I have my next doctor appointment tomorrow. And I read that um, that's when they go and check and make sure the spinal cord is okay and there's no like defects or anything. Up to this point, I have not told anyone as yet. I haven't told my mom, my dad, my sister. My boyfriend knows because, come on, he has to know. And um, plus he lives with me, we live together, so he has to take care of me. <laughs> And um, my dogs probably know, but other than that, I just, we just kind of keep it on a low until I pass the risky miscarriage period and then we're going to start calling people like one by one or two by two. And um, all this, all in the past before I got pregnant and all that, I used to say, well, when I get pregnant, I'm going to be so happy, I'm going to have like a gender reveal, I'm a this, I'm a that. And right now, I feel like gender reveal. What I want to go to that ultra, I want to go to that ultrasound. I want to know what my baby is, and 
I don't think I want to wait for no party. I don't want to wait to put it in no cake. No, nothing. I just want to know right there. Because it's like, that's just one of the things I'm excited about. To know the sex of my baby. So I can stop. Well, we call him him and her all the time anyway. I'm like, this girl, she peaky. Or I'm like, this boy, da da da. But we don't say it or I don't know. So it's nice to have one specific gender to just sit on. And I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody feel that way once, they're get, once they get pregnant. Um, one terrible day, I was at work. Lunchtime, symptoms. Oh, dude, I'm always tired up to this moment. I came home today from work, I slept five minutes in the door up until recently which is like about two hours and dude I woke up my body was in pain it was draining and I was like no it's not because I didn't take my prenatal or any vitamins I did it's just this this thing is going on inside of me <laughs> and um I go by my mom very often second I hit her door within an hour this chick is passed out she's sleeping so yeah <laughs> but um one day at work um so your lunch is not really set however customary take lunch 12 to 1 I look forward to lunch because I get to go in my car and sleep so this time I went in my car I slept I came back out Everybody's ordered food and food came at one. Symptoms. The food came at one. Everybody had food. I live in the islands. You know how that food is. Very smelly. Symptoms, man. My sense of smell is unbelievably strong. It's insane the things that I could smell. It's crazy. Like if my dog farts right now, I'm going to smell it. It's crazy. One is I can't talk a lot. Mm. I think some stuff is going on in there. Anyway, so, um, yes, yeah, so everyone came with food and it was it stank up the whole place because what they're doing is a working lunch so they work next to the station all the stations are close to each other there's no cubicles so you're smelling fish here chicken there rice greasy sea, greasy rice um all these different smells from everywhere like just hitting me and i just had to go outside i was like i can't do this i know i just came back inside for my nap but i had to go back outside because those smells were ridiculous and i was like this close to telling my supervisor hey these people need to not eat around here because this girl is pregnant but my determination to keep this pregnancy in the download for now just overpowered that so that's one story and i also wanted to say because i don't have a list or anything i'm just going based off of randomness um in the stages like this stopped like last week um so from my when i found out i was six months i mean six weeks to now to last week so between my six seven and eight week period no six seven and nine week period week period um when i lay down at night when i turn to one side i will feel like the little something and something go to that side then when I turn to the next side, I feel it go to the next side. And it was very, very uncomfortable every time I turn because I tend to like rotate sides. Um, I, stopped, I stopped feeling that last week, which was amazing. I guess the placenta or whatever has stabilized itself. So it's no longer like jiggling from side to side when I turn at night. So that's a plus. Um, what else do you guys need to know or that I want to share? It's so hard to stool. Oh my God. It's very hard. It's very, very hard. So yeah, TMI. I'm trying to drink enough water. 
And after my two weeks of not eating, I was like, I can't do this to my child. I need to eat. And I don't think this little baby boy or girl will make me or allow me to finish this video <laughs> or allow me to go any longer in this video. So this video is over. And it was nice chatting with you guys. And stay tuned for my next video because I am going to record this journey. Bye!